it's no secret that I love landscape painting, but I'm always painting in my house. So today I decided to get out of the house and travel to the location that I actually want to paint. This is the first episode in a series of episodes where I travel to a location and paint in plain air. So my buddy and I decided to go on a road trip around Europe and in today's episode we are going to Croatia. Croatia has been on my bucket list to visit for the longest time now, mainly because of its beautiful landscapes and also crystal clear tropical beaches, which is where we're heading today. But before that, let's get packing. So in order for our trip to work, we have to take a plane from Spain, Bilbao, where I live, all the way to Venice, Italy, and then there, take an RV and then travel through the coast of Croatia. All right. But not everything always goes as planned. All the direct plane tickets were taken. We couldn't get any of those. So we had to take a connecting flight, go to London, and then from London to Venice, Italy. Thank you, bye. That was the most turbulence I've ever had in my life. We're waiting for our next flight, 20 more minutes before we can know what gate we're going to. In Venice, a friend of ours came to pick us up and then took us directly to the RV. By the time we arrived, it was already pretty late. Uh, so we called it a night and started heading towards Croatia the next morning. So our main idea was to travel from Venice all the way through the coast of Croatia and then go all the way to Pula, Croatia, where the crystal clear waters were. So while we were heading towards Croatia on the road, we stumbled upon this little hut, which was very interesting visually. So we decided to stop, check it out because it was also in the middle of a lake. And interestingly enough, they sold oysters, fresh, fresh oysters. So I decided to try it out. So we're in Croatia and there's this little hut there. I think they're selling oysters, so we're gonna try one or two. They were kind enough to let us in and let us try some oysters. So only one or one each? It was the first time ever that I've ever tried fresh oysters like straight out of the ocean. So I was pretty excited for it. All right. Now the best way to describe the taste of oyster is seawater. Basically, it's that's mostly how it tastes. It just tastes like sea. Also, the guy let me draw him while he was breaking open some oysters, which I thought was pretty nice. Overall, they were pretty nice people. We made some little friends there. So anyway, we hit the road. Uh, we cooked a couple times, obviously, because we had to eat. We only have onions as vegetables, so that's mostly what we're eating, to be honest. On the trip, we bought a lot of onions, like a lot of onions, and that was <laughs> mainly our diet. So after a couple hours, we finally made it to the location. It was a beautiful, crystal clear beach, but there was only one problem. We reached there kind of late and the next day we, we had to head out. So that was my only opportunity to paint something. So once we arrived there, I was kind of in a way rushed to find the perfect location. 
but also something happened. I'm sorry for the super tight shot, but we're waiting till it stops raining because a cloud just went over us. It was like sunny a minute ago and then all of a sudden the rain started. So my idea was to paint something out here, but yeah, with the rain, I don't think that's gonna happen. But we'll see, we'll see. All of this is clear. But then when you come up here, it's a huge ass cloud. Luckily the rain didn't last very long, but time was running out and I still hadn't found the perfect place to paint. The problem about painting beaches is like it's mostly just rocks and sea. So as an artist, you have to find interesting compositions, interesting places, which doesn't look very common in a way because everything's just pretty similar. So we spent some time looking for that but we found a place, a perfect place to paint. But there was another problem, and that is that it was an extremely dangerous place to paint. We're gonna paint this. Especially because I had all my camera gear. It was on a tiny sort of rock island, and any little mistake, I will pretty much just fall into the ocean. But that was the only place that I wanted to paint, so I went ahead and went there. This was an interesting experience because one, I was painting in an extremely dangerous location. Don't do this at home. Don't ever go to a place like this. Also, time was running out. It was getting pretty dark really quickly. So I had to kind of rush it in a way. It definitely was a challenge. So this is the final painting. And as you can see, it's sort of a more of a abstract kind of painting. I don't know if you can see that there. So that's the final painting. It took me roughly about two hours. This painting was painted in Croatia and is a cave in Croatia. So that makes this painting a lot more valuable. It has a more of a story behind it, which I find pretty cool. I definitely think this is going to be an interesting series. So this was quite the experience and one that I will most definitely repeat. So let me know where do you guys want me to go? It can be anywhere in the world. You guys pick and I'll go there. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this introduction to the series and I will see you guys in the next episode. Bye bye.